Hello YouTube and welcome to this tutorial that's going to be on MemoQ and how to run a project. So from scratch, when you've opened it up, go to new project to start off with. You'll then have the option to put in a name for your project, which is going to be Bart, as this is Simpsons related. You can select the source language right here, which is going to be French. We're going into English UK, which we can keep. Let's click on next. Now we're going to import our document and have a look for the source file that we need to translate. And you can just select this and pull it up to get it integrated into MemoQ at this point. We're going to click on open. Then at this point, we're going to have a moment for text to be pulled out from the original file. This is going to be imported into MemoQ. And it's going to give you the standard bilingual format to edit in. French on the left, English on the right that we're going to type in. Which is the same as most types of cat tools. This is an easy way to edit things. So we'll hit next. At this point, you have an option to add a translation memory, which we're not going to do today. Uh, we're not going to add any term bases either, so we're going to skip that and finish. So now you can see there's the details of our project. It's got a word count of 38. We'll click to open up, and we'll then start translating. So here's our French on the left, and we're going to add our text still on the right. So we're doing this to translate Bart Simpson, so we're going to hit copy to source. And this is the important bit. So to confirm that segment, what we're going to do is hit Control, Shift, and Enter, which will change our segment to green. You can see for the next one that this is not done yet, so it's obviously got a red cross to the right of it. We're now going to type in our translation for this section. I'm not going to say that my translation here is going to be perfect. This is just something that I'm adding for the purposes of the project. Let's chat away. So the important part to note that we've got coming up um, is that we also have tags. You can see on the left-hand side, there's a couple of blue tags that say RPI, H, Inc, etc. We're going to need to add those in at this point. Otherwise, we'll have an error when we export the file or the link uh, that's here won't actually be added. So to do this, what we're going to do is when we get to the right point is hit Copy Next Tag Sequence. We're going to add our text from Lisa, which we're just quickly going to underline. And then again, we can hit Copy Tag Sequence and all of our tags are where they should be, which means that everything's going to be good with our document and our translation once it's completed. Again, we're going to confirm that segment by hitting Control, Shift, and Enter. For this part, for this web address, we can also just copy this, which you can also do by Control, Shift, and S. And for the final part, we're just going to type this last part of our text in. Obviously, when you have a larger file, you'll be dealing with scores or hundreds of these. Um, and you'll also note that as you're going through, you know, you have the option to do quality insurance and others. On that second line, you'll notice that there is a lightning little bolt next to it, which means there's some kind of error you can click on and then see what the deal is. It's probably nothing serious in that point. I'm just going to add some italics to Simpsons right here. We're again going to hit Control, Shift and Enter. Our project is done. So now that we're completed, as I've mentioned before, we have the option to potentially look at the stats. We can look at a myriad of other bits, including uh, you know, spell check, quality control, etc. So I'm just going to go here to this point to uh, export the project. So I'm going to click just underneath the documents tab here to export. I'm going to choose the path for that. I also have the option to choose as a bilingual file if I wanted that, but here we are. We're going to put that down. I'm going to rename it as Bar Simpson EN2, just to not get confused with my original file. And then it's going to be exported perfectly as that original point C. I hope that's been useful for you. If you like this content, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. And have a great day.